Este, Castello Estense, Ferrara in 1495. Right. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are in the House of Da Vinci 2. And it looks like we're locked up in prison. Sure. Uh, let's just take a quick look around. Some drawings here. Been here for a while, it looks like. Keys, 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 keys. All right, fine. The tutorial. So it's a leather case. Left click anywhere on the screen to continue. Sure. Okay. Yes. Inventory. Inventory manipulation still works. Mysterious letter. We still have the case, which means we can use it. Read the following. Okay. Hold the mouse. Whatever. Read the following lines carefully, because this letter is your path to freedom. Only on the other side of these walls can your name be cleared. We arranged with the guard won't be, uh, that the guard won't be watching the area surrounding yourself for the time being. You should know that you won't get this chance again. Do not worry. We are on your side. You will find your way out at the end of this letter. Okay. And I got a key. Cool. Button to get out. Zoom in. Double click on the door. Move the key from the inventory to the rivet. Oh, that's cool. Then we do this. And then we take the key and we put it in here. Yeah, the graphics are better. I mean, obviously, because it's a later game, but... I am thoroughly impressed. Okay, let me open the door. Walk out. Cool. Okay. And it goes here. We. Oh, I thought that might be like a pin holding it. I see. Neat. Sort of. Okay. Let's not look at that. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we can pick this up. Yeah, I was wondering, like. They don't give you objects here for nothing. <laughs> um, nothing, no. One of these bricks doesn't go in or anything? Nope, okay. Anything behind me? There's a door. Oh, there we are. Curiously shaped screw. I'll look at that in a second. Anything here? I am, I will say, I'm thoroughly impressed by just the start of this. Right, it's more atmospheric. Obviously, we are in prison, but what's this? This may go. Why, yes, that is where that goes. Okay. Oh, okay. The part of a torture device. I see. So that goes on top, right? Yes, because there is that that hole there for the uh, for the pin. This is what I think it is. It is the torture device. It's like um, I think it's called like the pair of anguish or something. Because basically, this would go in your mouth or somewhere else, and then they would like crank it open on you. It's not pretty. Okay. Well then, can I pin this in place? <laughs> no. Torture device. I mean, the torture device. This. Oh, I get it. Okay. This goes over here. There we go. Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up. 
Well, that's why I need the, the spoon. Okay, now we open it up. And we head out of here. Right. Yeah, that's subtle. Okay. So it's snowing out. That's fine. That's close. I mean, that's we came out of there. Oh, there's a wheel here. There's not much else. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this. That opens up. I see. So then we can crank open the gate. This feels much more like a puzzle area to me. Oh, I see. It's frozen solid. Frozen solid and there's like a gargoyle head in there. Well, I'm going to guess the gargoyle head goes in there. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Is there something down here? Yes, there is. Okay. Okay. A gold and silver plated object. I'm guessing it goes up here. I just saw these two holes here. Yep. And we go in, and we go in. Giacomo, you might find the events awaiting you strange and unfathomable. Accept them as they are. You will understand everything later when we meet. You must trust me. It is time to turn the wheel of time and change not only your own destiny. In the box in front of you is a device that will allow you to peer into the past, and through your feats there, we, there you will influence the present. Use it with deliberation. Oh my god. Giacomo, you do not know me yet, but I have known you for a long time. I am here, and I will help you. A friend. Oh no. I have an idea. All right, burnished brass cone goes in here. This, no, this doesn't rotate. These these don't rotate. Okay, so no, there we go. Let's line up the pattern to be this one. There we go. Pick up the device from the chest. Activate the icon, the Oculus Perpetua. Perpetua. Through the Oculus Perpetua, you can see a portal that will take you into the past. Yeah, see, this is what the letter suggested. We're going to go into the past, and we can manipulate things there in order to make changes in the present. So maybe, like, this won't be frozen. When I got closer, pulsating rays appeared around the portal as if reacting to the proximity of the Oculus Perpetua. 1495. Hold down the button, left mouse button in the middle of the portal until it draws you into the past. So a year ago. I can see that time isn't flowing in the past, and that the bridge under the gargoyle isn't broken, right? I could use this somehow. Oh, I see, because it then froze, and the head fell and basically bounced in there, and look, it isn't frozen. Okay, still no head there, that's fine.
Well, that's cool. Unbelievable. Stopping the water from flowing in the past caused the bridge to remain intact in the present. The portal was closed, so I should continue in the present. Okay. So yeah, so it looks like... It looks like we're, we're possibly going to be juggling two timelines worth of puzzles in this game. <laughs> Stonehead. Sure. Okay, and I bet the Stonehead goes there, because, I mean, where else would it go? Anything there? No. Is there anything I can look at here? No. I'm just checking. Keep moving. On the other side of the street, a door just opened. Okay, let's go to the door while the guard is distracted. Ah, Miseri Giacomo, alive and well. Your presence here is proof that my gift was delivered successfully, and that you knew how to use it in the best possible way. You did not disappoint me, which is, as you will soon see, a good thing for you. I am sure you're asking yourself the obvious question of why the mysterious man before you has even helped you to your freedom. Well, above all, I do not pay heed to the unlikely tales of witchcraft and occultism those blind fanatics accused you of. If they had their way, we would all be flung several centuries into the past. However, I do believe in the power of knowledge. I like to support able and well-educated people. You, of course, counted among them, Giacomo. I know your work and your skills, and I can find a good use for them. But I am, as you are surely beginning to understand, an extremely powerful man. As easily as I was able to get you out of that prison, I can put you back with just a wave of the hand and leave you there to rot. It's your choice. This is my offer. You may choose to return to your foul-smelling cell in Castello Estense, which would of course be unexpected, or decide to enter my service instead, in which case you could finally make full use of your exceptional skills. But let us return to my principal issue. As I stated, I am currently supporting a number of artists and inventors, all of whom work for me with gratitude. But one of the greatest minds of our time still eludes me. I am certain you already know of him. Messere Leonardo da Vinci. He is currently staying in Milan, seeking assistance for his scientific work. Every candidate for this post must first complete a complex test to show that he can be beneficial to the master's research. No one has proven successful so far, but you, Giacomo, could be the right one. It will be in your own best interests, if you understand my meaning. You will complete Leonardo's test, enter his services, and while keeping up appearances, you will secretly inform me of his every move. You will also ensure that in the end, the only employer of Leonardo da Vinci will be me, Cesare Borgia. Take this notebook. You will secretly record every detail of your investigation in it. You will report to me and keep me informed. Okay. It's a little bit more intrigue and plot. Hello, it's for Back button. No, no, I want to read it. Today I was plucked from the loneliness and hopelessness by a curious event. I received a letter from an unknown person who helped me gain my freedom. I have no idea who this mysterious rescuer is or what motives compel him to help me. Well, we just heard. My journey continues in the sewers under Castello Estense. I found another letter, this time signed by someone calling himself a friend. He claims to know me, but I have no idea who he might be. 
With the letter, he left me something extraordinary, a powerful device, the Oculus Perpetua, which allows me to go back in time and use it to manipulate the present. You will find Master Leonardo in the church of Santa Maria della Grazia, where he addresses himself to some grandiose painting. One of my reliable people will take you to Milan. You should be on your way. And Giacomo, do not fail me. Mm-hmm. There is one more thing. As a soldier, I am accustomed to almost any hardship. But Messere Leonardo is, after all, a man of considerable delicacy and refinement. Before you meet him, you should not forgo a thorough bath and change of clothing. Santa Maria della Grazia, Milan, 1495. Cesare Borgia, so he is to be my liberator. Il Valentino, as many call him, cruel, powerful politician and soldier and probably the last person I would want to be associated with. I am to pay for my freedom by being accepted into the service of Leonardo da Vinci, spying on him and making sure that he only works for Borgia. I have no idea how to do any of that, but the image of the dirty hole in Castello Estense made, made my decision quite simple. I will do as he asks and enter Leonardo's service, no matter the price. I am never going back to prison. Okay. What we're going to do is that we're actually going to call it there. Um, I know it's pretty short, but you know, it's the first episode. We got out of prison, and now we're going to go ahead and, uh, try, and uh, try and land a job with Leonardo. If you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Uh, let me know that I'm doing something right. Let me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts on this game, you have thoughts on how it started, on the graphics, compare it to the first game, or just anything that you think we should be playing otherwise, by all means leave a comment, and in any case, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.